today we will continue with chapter 4 quadratic equation today we will see the different method of solving quadratic equation so we have different method number one we can solve it by factorization factorization we have the method like applying formula a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a square minus b square a minus b whole cube and all those okay then if we cannot do by those mean we can take common if we cannot take common then we can split middle term then another method is completing the square and the one is using quadratic formula so we'll see them one by one now okay as we do you'll understand which method to use so in exercise 4c we have to solve the quadratic equation by factorization that means either taking common or applying those formula a plus b whole square applying formula of cute or by split middle them okay so we'll see them one by one like question number one and number two they already split for us okay we only have to get the value of x so for this one we can do directly we simply do x minus 4 equals 0 so this is minus take the side become plus so that mean the first value of x is 4 then x plus 2 equals 0 again this is plus take the other side become minus 2 so that mean the value of x will be minus 2 so for equation 1 the value of x is <coughs> 4 and minus 2 then the second one also already split so we only have to get the result we have 2x plus 3 we can make it equal to 0 we want x so this is plus take the side become minus then this number which present with x because here in 2 so we're supposed to divide so the first value for x is minus 3 by 2 then again this one we have we can make it equal to 0 3x minus 7 equal 0 this is minus take this side it will become plus so here we have in 2 so x equal 7 divide by 3 okay so that means the value of x for equation number 2 is minus 3 by 2 7 by 3 then next number 3 5 4 6 if we compare them properly here we have x square then we have a uh, x we have constant term so they are of the form a x square plus b x plus c equal zero uh, a we cannot square c we cannot square so we cannot apply formula but we can use split middle term so i hope you remember split middle term first we have to multiply a and c that mean coefficient of x square with constant term then we have to find two numbers if we multiply we will get that depend on the sign here if plus we have to plus if minus also we have to minus to get the middle term what is the middle term to get b okay first multiply coefficient of x square with c then we have to find two numbers if we multiply we will get that much that mean a into c then in, if here you have plus you have to plus if here you have minus then you have to minus to get the middle term so let us try to solve them one by one so first here you have coefficient of x square is 1 then the constant term is 18 so that means you have to do 1 into 18 it will be equal to 18 so now we have to find two numbers if we multiply we get 18 then here there is minus sign if you minus we get the middle term what is the middle term here the middle term here is 3 so what are the numbers which will give us 18 when you multiply 2 into 9 3 into 6 18 into 1 so they should satisfy both 2 into 9 18 9 minus 2 did we get 3 no so this one is rejected 6 into 3 18 6 minus 3 equal 3 so that means those two number we want they are 6 and 3 so remember we may get many pairs as to say but we should accept only the one which satisfy both the multiply 
as well as plus or minus. So now it's time to split them into them. That means instead of 3, we can write 6 minus 3. Then after that, as usual, you can take common and find out the value of x. So here we have it. Okay, x square remains same, minus 18 same. In place of 3, we can write 6 minus 3. Make a habit to write greater minus small. Okay, so that will not face problem later on. Next step, remember what to do. Remove the bracket. So x square plus 6 into x, 6x, plus 2 minus, minus 3 into x, 3x, minus 18. Next, what to do? Take common. Here we have x square. So that means there are 2x, then 6x. This side no number, so we need to split 6. If you see from both, we have x. So take common x. Inside bracket, we are left with x. Sign here, same, plus 6. Then 3 and 18. 3 is a number, 18 is a number. Can we divide 18 by 3? Yes, so take common 3. Then here we are left with x. Minus to minus, it become plus. So these two, they are same. You can take in one bracket. Another, you can write x minus 3. Okay? So now you can write either the first one equal 0 or second one equal 0. This is plus. Take that side, become minus. This is minus, take that side, become plus. So the value of x here are minus 6 and 3. Now the same way we can do with number 4. The coefficient of x here is 1. Oh sorry, coefficient of x squared here, no number mean 1. Here we have 10. So that means we need 2 number. If we multiply, we should get 10. Okay? What sign in front of 10? We have minus so if we minus, we should get the middle term, that is 3. So we have to find two numbers, okay? What are the numbers possible to multiply to get 10? And if we minus same number, we should get 3. What are the possible number of multiply to get 10? Okay, 1 into 10, 10. One pair, another 2 into 5 equal 10. Do we have any other? No, no. So let's check. 1 into 10 equal 10. 1 minus 10. Did we get 3? No. So this one is rejected. Then 2 into 5, 10. 5 minus 2. Did we get 3? Yes. So that means those two pair which we have to accept they are 5 and 2. Because they satisfied both the multiply and minus. So that means in place of 3, we can write 5 minus 2. Then we can proceed the same way. Okay. So those you see, x square write as it is, minus 10 write as it is. Then in place of 3 now, we have to write minus uh, 5 minus 2. Because remember, we are splitting middle term. Next step, what to do? Remove the bracket. So x square minus 5 into x, minus 2 minus, plus 2x minus 10. Here, no number, so no need to split 5. But we have x and x. There are 2 here, 1. So we can take common, 1x. So inside bracket, we are left with x, this one minus, then 5. 2 and 10. Can you divide 10 by 2? Yes. So take common, 2. Here you have plus, so put plus, okay? Then x remain, so plus 2 minus minus. 2 into what number will be 10? 2 into 5. So this 2, they are same, put inside bracket. Then this, then now it's time to get the value of x. So you separate them, okay? This first one make equal 0, second one also. Plus, take this side become minus. This is minus. Take the other side become plus. So the value for x here, they are minus 2 and 5. So we will continue the same way for number 5 also. Here 5, the coefficient of x is 1. Constant term is 5. So that means 1 into 5 will be 5. We need two number. If multiply, we get 5. What sign we have here? Plus. If we plus, we get 6. Do we have any other option to multiply to get 5? No, we have only 5 and 1. So 5 plus 1, did we get 6? Yes. So those two required number will be 5 and 1. So that means in place of 6, we should replace with 5 plus 1. So those, this one remains same. Okay. Place 6, write 5 plus 1. Then you do the usual way. x square, remove the bracket. 
5x plus 1x plus 5. Take common, no number here. So we can take only alphabet. Here we left with x plus 5. Here, no number. We can take common 1. When no number is common, 1 is always there. We should not forget. These two are same. Take one bracket. These two can put another bracket. Now we can do either or. x plus 1 equals 0. Plus take that side become minus. Then this is plus take that side become minus. So that means the value for x here is minus 1 and minus 5.